So you play this character, Volmer, who holds a lot of secrets, but I'm wondering, you know, what was maybe... You're not going to ask me about the secrets, No, I'm not going to ask. Okay, good Because I do this all the time, I don't want to spoil it for anyone. Okay. But uh, which is the most unnerving quality that, as an actor, you had to embrace? Well, actually, the challenge was not to lick my lips and lean out and wink (laughs) at the audience and to play the truth of it. Okay. And the truth is pretty hard to play in this, but, you know, normally as an actor, you go, oh, this is like the scene where my cat died. Oh, this is the time that, you (laughs) know, my told I... Not allowed to drive till I was there. Whatever the hell it is, something. I have no frame of reference for any of this film uh, and any of the things um, that have happened to Volmer in the past or that he wants to happen in the future. So uh, that's all acting is, imagination, and I had to do a little bit more work in this than normal. Do you draw from any like cinematic influences, maybe? Because there have been mad scientists or whatnot before, but... I don't think he's a pretty good scientist. Um, oh, uh, he, well, <laughs> he's he's very good at what he, he knows is. what he's doing. Right? Yeah. Uh, and uh, he's a very powerful man that has got his status by providing certainty and, uh, and, you know, it, uh, simple answers to some very rich and complicated people who find their lives to be co- too complicated. Well, you don't need to look too far in popular culture at the moment to find a man giving very simple answers to people's complicated lives. No, you don't. Uh, so there's a level of self-belief uh, and, and confidence that uh, I was able to draw on from reality, shall we say. I think we can say that. Uh, so was it fun kind of making Dane DeHaan squirm? Because you get to do that a lot, this film. I do. Well, you know, the thing about acting is it's easy when the script's good and the other actors are good. Uh, and Mia Goth kind of wears her nerves on the outside of her body, I mean, she in does. this character, not in real life. And so uh, she felt so incredibly fragile the whole time. It was like a piece of lace, you know, a uh, spider's web, handling her as Volmer. And then Dane is right on the edge of madness all the time. I mean, right, again, not off camera, obviously, when we had dinner, <laughs> but on camera. It made my job incredibly easy. But he's a man with such enormous self-belief that everybody else uh, plays into that. And when there's someone who's struggling with it, like Dane, it, it, was, uh, it felt fresh and new because all the other clients there treat me like God, and he's not. And so uh, things felt spontaneous. That's good. So, I mean, this is very much a day of franchises and superhero movies, and a movie like A Cure for Wellness, did you ever just look around and go, like, how is this movie getting made for this budget? I did, actually. And it's because, you know, Gore has earned himself a place at the top table in Hollywood by being so successful across so many genres. And having worked with him now, uh, I see why he's a master of craft. I mean, the film, before you even get into whether you're liking or not liking the journey he takes you on, just have a look at each frame. It's magnificent. And he had all those frames and where and how they cut in his head before we started. And, uh, you know, there, I've worked with lots of first-time filmmakers and it's incredibly rewarding, but there's something about being around someone who is so able as well that is uh, tremendously empowering. And I was going to say that to you. You know, is there a different feeling when you walk off the set of something like A Cure for Wellness versus one of these franchises? You know, you've done the Harry Potter stuff. You've been on franchises. I don't like the word franchise when for- it comes to Harry Potter, only because there were always seven books. There are always okay. going to be tell the whole story, which is a, a full story. There are so other films that then. make money when they add a Roman numeral on at the end. They keep going until nobody buys tickets. Mm-hmm. That's a different thing. Um, That's true. But the feeling when you're on the set with Gore, unlike lots of things I do, is this guy's going to tell the story the way he had it in his head, and he's going to tell it. Uh, his vision will be fully realized. I've, you know, Lots of times you go, well, good luck cutting that together. We'll see what it turns out like. But you knew that this man was always going to satisfy his own demands and high standards. And that's not something you normally feel. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for that. Thanks Appreciate for it.